Hey everyone, it's Zadira and Steffi. Hello. We are back and we wanted to give you a tour finally of our home here on Valguero playing the Supreme Mod. Yes. We are really excited to share this with you. We've been promising and finally got to where we were <laughs> finished. But we're going to start here because I wanted to show you exactly where we are on the map because it is such a cool place to have a base even though most people wouldn't even think to come here. But there's where we are, um, right there on that beach across, if you look across the river right there, that's where all the dead turtles and dead fish are, where you can get hide and all that. So it makes it really convenient for that. And then we built us a little dock here mm -hmm. for our raft, our supreme raft. Right, because so, rafts and supreme are kind of a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have their own rafts, which is really cool. And we've shown the raft in past episodes. But Steffi did some work. We had a hard time getting up this hill. We There was a almost like a little path where you could make your way up, but we kept tripping over ourselves. And the <laughs> bushes are so tall you couldn't see if yes. there was danger in the bushes. You couldn't see anything. <laughs> it was so scary me, running yeah. up here. We would like close our eyes and run as fast as we could. Yeah. But Steffi fixed it. She fixed all these foundations. Yeah. And made it so beautiful <laughs> through here. You. A so, good thing to do while you're breeding animals is yeah. to build. Yeah, plus when you're crafting, it also helps with your leveling. But see, there, that down there is where we have our little dock. So there's no real landmarks that tell you exactly where we are. Yeah, we're right across from where the dead turtles are. Mm -hmm. You can see right across there. Yeah, so, straight across. If you come up this way, though, Steffi has fixed it so those silly bushes don't grow here anymore. Yes, and, and trees. So and beautiful. I'm hoping it's stopping the spawn of some of the nuclear animals. Yes. Oh, my gosh. We've had so much trouble with nuclear animals. And up here, it's a little bit still. You have yeah. to kind of do a little zigzag wiggle woggle. I didn't eat, but you can get up. get up this high. Yeah. And then this right here, this big monstrous thing, that's our boss battle arena that we built. If y'all have watched in the past episodes of that. And then you go on up here and we built the stairway. And this again is another place where you have to kind of zigzag and get up not knowing exactly where to go up, but you kind of learn. But, it, but there's always danger down here. Yes. So it's kind of nice to have a place where you can run quickly. Yes. It's not too bad on this side of the Redwoods, but across the other side is really bad. So yeah, this, is really... The, this is the safe side, and it's not that safe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. But anyway, we, we decided to build up here because look at all this metal. Oh, my goodness. Metal and crystal over there yes. down the ridge a ways. You, if we, let me come over here and show you. There's a ridge. A lot of you... If you come to the Redwoods often, you're probably familiar with this ridge. It goes all the way down, all the way to until you get to that archway that leads into the Redwoods from that river. Yes. Ooh, I saw something green down there. I think there's another. Oh, there's a nuclear Yeah, there's a nuclear terror bird. Don't we, get too close. Yeah. So they don't normally come up here. That's the great thing. We're able to get, we're able to see animals if we need to tame them. And we can get to them quickly, but normally they don't come up here. We've, we've had very yeah. few things come up here. So that makes it nice. But this is our house. We want to give you a really good tour and show you what we've done. We placed it right here in this area, mainly to keep our uh, metal from despawning. We yeah. want to keep it spawning, so we placed it over here. And then over here, these bi big buildings over here that we'll show you in a minute, those are cliff platforms, and we built out on cliff platforms in order to continue out building and having a nice size base, but not taking up where the spawns of the metal are. Yes. So that worked out pretty good. So anyway, let's go ahead and go in. This is our little front porch, and then that takes you straight into the living area. And we'll go over here and show this is, this is where we sit and relax after all of our taming. <laughs> yes. After a scary adventure. <laughs> oh my gosh, a lot of death. And uh, mostly we have Eco's RP decor. We have Eco's um, garden landscape. 
We also have ACAs, A-K-K-A Decor, uh, and another RR Garden. RR decor. Garden Deco. Deco, yes. So those are the main ones. You can see a list down below. We have a list of, oops, of our mods if you want the exact ones and where they're located. Yeah. You can check out our mod list. Yeah. Part of the joy of playing art for us is having those times where you just kind of breathe and decorate mm -hmm. in between the scariness. <laughs> yes. And just seeing how creative you can be. Yeah. Uh, it's just so much fun. And we, we love using Eco's Kitchen. RP decor for our kitchen because you can have water and a refrigerator almost immediately. And then over here's our little storage area. We have these storage cases that have armor and weapons and tools. We have our preserving bin in here, uh, our little eating area, and then you go on up the stairs and we have all of these cute little things up here. Nice big area for sleeping. I hear our stomping feet. Oh gosh. <laughs> They're really loud. So we have our beds that were in our favorite colors with uh, matching chests for in our favorite colors. Mm -hmm. And so everybody gets a place that they can rest and relax. And then we have a writing desk where we can write out all our plans of, for the day. <laughs> We have a little bathroom in here. It's really cool. This is Akka's uh, items mostly. Yeah, in here. See, they have some amazing different kinds of things, and yeah, all of their things have different variants. Yes, and so you can pick and choose the things that you want, the colors that you want. Every single thing is paintable. Yes, so you can really design it the way you want. Yes, and that that makes it so much fun. You can see there's so many cute little details of different items that we've used. I'm going to show a little bit. I'll put the backspace back on. So I'll show this bird just for an example of a little items. Let's see if I can get on it. This, let's see. Yeah, it's called Small Table Props. And if I click on it, you'll see there are structure variants. And you can see just this one item can turn into all of these different items. Isn't that amazing? Truly awesome. Yeah, so here's the griffin statue. And then you can go to jars, uh, different jars. Here's a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can have incense burner. I mean, there's just so many possibilities with different things that you can do. Here's the scales. And then let's turn it back to our metal bird. Isn't that cute? But that almost all of her items are like that. Her mm -hmm. rugs, this screen right here, you can change it. Just, just about everything in. Here's the Akka's workbench. This is what her workbench looks like. I mean, look at that. Look at the detail on that. I mean, isn't that amazing? Let's crouch down so you can really see. Isn't that something? So cool. Yeah. It's really amazing, all the detail. So then that's where you craft her items. And so we have a little um, little deck out here that we can go out on. I like I built this deck right at the beginning, mainly so we could come out and check for danger. <laughs> but because we could see out a little bit before yeah, we that's, venture. Yeah, that's the first thing we have to do because um, <clears throat> there are some I would say the Redwoods is one of the most dangerous areas for the spawns for Supreme. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. This is Aiko's new rug. Uh, she just did an update this little past little bit, and I love how these look. They're so pretty with the tassels on the ends. And these are, that. It, most people are familiar with Eco's rugs in her RP decor, but she's actually changed them. Yeah, so. she's added a lot more detail and texture and yeah. then just the little details of the little tassels. And now you don't jump up and down when you walk on them. Yay! Thank you! <laughs> yeah. So here's another little um, example of, let's turn the backspace back on. See this little paint palette? If you look at the structure variants, you can switch it to box B. Anyway, so nearly everything. There's a pencil case. Isn't that amazing? And then we want the paint palette because somebody is here painting a picture, a beautiful picture of this tree, I think. <laughs> All right, so to keep on going, we, we can go downstairs and see all of the things down here. 
And if we go out the back door, this takes us once. We had all of our workshop area, if you ca caught our early, very early videos, we had all our workshop in that ho house there, but then we moved out here. And like I said, we put it out on a cliff platform and we're, we were sh pretty shocked. We've never done like a square or rectangle building per se. We've always done big houses and things like that. Yeah, and I usually make niches for all the different mm -hmm. crafting tables. And because they're so big and bulky and ugly compared yeah. to the pretty furniture. <laughs> exactly. I usually cover them up somehow. Yeah. So we, we just decided to move it all in here and we were amazed how everything fits so nicely with still lots of room. We're able to move freely. You don't get smashed up or uh, get overly crowded. And our little generator sits over here tucked out of the way in the corner. Because really you don't need to do anything with it once you make your gasoline and yeah, get it exactly. going. So our fabricator fits here. Our grinder, which that has always been a problem because the thing is so big. So huge. So anyway, we we just have everything we need. We put a lot of these SS tables down because they hold so much stuff and we just throw everything in there that we don't that we don't want. Yes. Uh, all of our Supreme stuff, Arc Supreme stuff goes in these tables. Uh, these are the cauldron and the special forge and the potion table all of those are for arc supreme so you need a lot of work benches. these are all the castle keeps and forts tables mm -hmm. so you need so many different things i mean yes so it takes up a lot of room so then over here if you watched our one episode we showed about you don't really need a beetle if you have the soul terminal Mm -hmm. And the um, compost bin. Check that out if you want to yeah, check that out. Yeah, it's definitely, if you are not able to get a beetle easily, like we are not on able to do on Valguero. In Valguero, you have to go to the ice wiver trench. <laughs> um, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. So, not going to do that. Um, we probably could now with the animals that we have, but at the beginning we sure couldn't. Oh, no, definitely yeah. not. So, this hurts, so it's a really cool way to make fertilizer... Yes. And we have plenty. Oh my gosh, we have too much. It's our, our garden plots are full of fertilizer. So then we, as we started to expand, we needed to start breeding. So we put another area up here. And we also, we needed the garden. So we came up here and made us a really pretty little garden with uh, Eco's Garden and Landscape, I believe, mod. She has the pretty stained glass. Yes. And we love that. We try to use that whenever we can. Mm -hmm. These flowers are from the Arc Supreme. I think they're so cool. We're up to electric. So each flower, it's the same type of flower, but they're all different colors. And then we yeah. also have all the bees from the yes. Supreme. And as we've gone up in tier, we've retired our bees to the garden. Yeah, <laughs> so we don't need them. And then here is our big breeding building that Steffi wow. built us. We put another cliff platform down. And see, it's attached to the cliff, this big giant cliff. And you can see where Steffi just built around the cliff and was able to make this really nice big place that we could breed yes. our allosauruses. We and can breed, yes, because we need a lot of room for the allosauruses and the mm -hmm. trikes. But that ends this little video. I hope you enjoyed our little base tour. And be sure and subscribe and click yes. that box. Like and press the notification bell. The most important thing is to like the videos. I feel like that's probably the best way you can help us out. Yes, we um, do appreciate it so much. And the comments for getting, my yeah, goodness. We enjoy answering your comments so much. It makes our day to come in and yeah. see that you've commented and you've watched the video. So thank you so much. Yes. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.